Well, I've written a number of biographies, and I thought I was pretty good at bringing people to life. McKinley was not easy to bring to life. For one thing, he didn't keep a diary, and, and of course he wrote no memoirs because he was killed in office, but he also hardly wrote any letters. There's very little written record of what he was thinking or how he was feeling or what he thought about this guy or that person. Um, and I was really struggling with the book. My friend David Ignatius of the Washington Post, who was reading my manuscript, he kind of touched on it. He said, this guy's a mystery because he was a very consequential and a very effective president, and you can't quite figure out how or how or why he was able to accomplish what he accomplished because he was um, indirect. He was an incrementalist. He was a, a manager. He uh, was not a man of force. It turns out that without that force, he had an amazing capacity to manipulate people and manipulate them into doing the things that he wanted them to do while they thought it was their idea. And once I sort of captured that, <laughs> then you could sort of see what he was doing and how he was manipulating. And I think there was a sort of silent, quiet drama that sort of emerged out of the tale.